if you walk into a house and you see a million shoes, I hope a million people aren't living there. <laughs> I might get scared. <laughs> you must love sneakers. Wow. You ain't testing, you're guessing. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Hope all is well. Sunday morning, on my way to a service call. They have no heat on the top floor of the house. We recently installed a, about a week and a half ago, a Whale McLean CGA5 gas fired boiler, three zones. And of course, you know, we tested them all before we, uh, before we left. And one thermostat was bad and Apparently, he's got the thermostat cranked all the way up to 90, and the light on the relay is not coming on. So, uh, let's see if we could uh, fix this for them and get them up and running. All right, stay tuned. So, this one? Yes, yeah, that one, yeah. Only on to 80. We have a wire there, wire there. Let's go see if it's if the zone is on. Let's go to the boiler. And, as you can see, the zone is not illuminated. Okay. Let's go back to the thermostat. Let's take yeah, off. I don't have that tool, so I'm not, I mean, you, when you come out of call you. I'm going to take this wire. All right. I'm going to take the white wire. You connect those two, you see. Uh huh. Now. Take a little wago. Stick you in there like that. Oh, it didn't get in. Yeah, so we could we could see and someone could learn. And then white wire is in there like that. So now the circuit is closed, like the switch is on. So we're gonna see if it's a thermostat, this Home Depot special. Alright. Why not? Now we go to the boiler and we see that zone one is it on. It came on. It came on. Yeah, it's on. See? So the light is on. Yeah, it's on. And the light on the real on the circulator is also on. Now just so we're not playing you know, um we're not being played games with, we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna disconnect it again okay. and see if it goes out. So that was zone one. Let's see if zone one turns off. Pop out the way go. So it's disconnected. Let's go back to the boiler. Off. And now it's off. Okay. See? So we know that that thermostat is bad. Now you also have another thermostat upstairs in the bedroom. Yes. Same problem with that? Same problem. Let's go see. Another Home Depot special. See, two wires, red and white. And we'll do the same thing with this one. Very good question. I have a little tool there. So hold that. All right. And you'll see, I'm just going to twist these wires together. I'm just going to strip off a little bit more of the wire okay. so you can expose a little bit more of it. And then, no, look, I'm touching it. I can lick it too if I wanted to. <laughs> don't, don't suggest you do that though, but so you can also twist them together. So let's say you didn't have a thermostat or you didn't have a little wire nut like that or a Wago. Okay. You just twist them together. So let's go see if it came on. Let's go back to the boiler. And sure enough, Zone two is now on. on. So you have two defective thermostats. Okay. Let me go get them from the truck. Yeah. So one of the things that he said to me is like, oh, we should have changed the thermostats. And I said, listen, I'm a firm believer if something is broken or improperly working, uh, it needs to be you know repaired or replaced. In this particular case, when we put in his boiler uh, last Wednesday, yeah, last Wednesday, you know, it's 12, 31 o'clock in the afternoon. We're done. And we go turn on all the zones. And sure enough, the zone on the ground floor in the den wasn't coming on. And the ones upstairs were. You know, so we changed out that thermostat in the den. The ones upstairs, those fake round Honeywell T87Fs, you know, <laughs> they're, they're the fake round yo-yos, you know. They looked new. They worked. But now, here it is, a week and a half later, they're both dead. So... You know, you get what you pay for. You know, you go to Home Depot, you buy these little dun dun you know, Honeywell specials for 20 bucks, 25 bucks. You get what you pay for. So I'm going to put in two of our private label 
White Rogers Series 80. This is the 1F83C 11PR. It's got my name and phone number on it. It's great branding uh, and they work, they're reliable. Um, before I installed this one, I installed the 1F80361 and I installed that thermostat for about 20 years. And just recently went to this, you know, the Series 80, you know, because, you know, the Emerson White Rogers rep was kind of pushing me to. Plus, it looks, it's a nice bigger display, works out well. And my, my homeowners, a lot of them, you know, they're getting older in age and you want to see that nice big display on there. So we put in this. All right, let's swap out these thermostats. So it's kind of dumb. We had a thermostat here. This is a, a Honeywell, uh, what they call a yo-yo. Okay. It's a T87F. It has a mercury bulb inside of it right there. All right. It's a bulb of mercury, which is now outlawed. Okay. All right, we actually have to recycle this. I have to send this to New York State and they recycle it properly. So this is just your cooling thermostat, right? Because you have the cool heat, uh, you had an off cool heat. And next to it, you have the fake Honeywell T87F. Right. Yeah, it's a bulb. So we're going to merge these two together because it's kind of dumb. It is. Having two thermostats on the wall. Plus, you, it looks like you're going to have to paint anyway. Right. So okay. let's take out this one first. So there are three screws holding the thermostat to the base. Okay, there's one there. There's one on the bottom. And we're gonna have a minimum, we should have a minimum of three wires that control your AC system. All right? So we're gonna take this off. You're gonna make sure that doesn't drop. Okay. Oh, it's old. Now, yeah, it's old. <laughs> exactly, it's old. So, let me get some. All right, good. So now, we have a minimum of three wires. Now, this one is red. The red one is power. Now, on your old thermostat, when I just took out, you have R. Where is it? It is right there. It just, it just says R. Okay. And then there's RC below it, because this one also can do cool. So your R alone is normally RH, which is red or power heating. RC is power cooling. Cool, okay. Right, and then on the other side, G is fan, W is heat, and then Y is cooling, and then you may have some other things there, like O, B, and O, which are for heat pumps. So now, the new thermostat has an RC, an RH, with a jumper, and you'll see the jumper, and all the other terminals, but of course much newer. So this right here, if I was to test this, right, there, there's 24 volts here. Of, pr of power. No, I just I just I nicked myself there. <laughs> All right, this is 24 volts of power. G, which is normally a green wire, is for fan. So when this switch is to fan, the fan will come on, like doing this. See, the fan comes on. All the thermostat is a switch. So if I were to take this wire and put it back to R, you see it comes on. The fan. Yes. And if I turn the fan to auto, it turns off. All right, so red is power, G is fan, and the other one, that's why I said minimum of three, is Y. Y is your cooling circuit. Okay. So this is powers the condenser. So if I take R and Y, which is normally yellow, you, we might hear the condenser turn on. Let's see if we hear that, come on. You hear that in the background? Yeah, see? The condenser turned on. So when this is on to cool and the thermostat is cranked down to below the temperature of the room, oh. power, it's 24 volts is going to go from R to, to, to W. And if it's set to, sorry, to Y. And if this is set to auto, it's also going to get, send power to G, which is fan. So now you had two thermostats here for God knows how long. Okay. We're going to take this thermostat wire. Okay. We're going to take this base off okay. and we're going to put one base here with one thermostat and you're going to see how we do that. Right. The base plate is off. I'm fortunate enough where there's not a beam between here and there. Okay. Otherwise I can get a little creative behind here and like try to like cut the sheetrock here and then mount the thermostat on the wall. But you're going to have to sheetrock and paint a little bit anyway. But I'm going to fish this wire, the heat wire, through here to there because I like, I like this, this, look, this looks much easier to okay. cover up the, and, and spackle over than this does. Right. All right. So I'm going to fish that through. So now RH, W... R, C, G, okay. and Y. All right. Plate is on. Bubble is dead center. I'm going to cut these wires, trim them up. 
because it's all like, see all bent up and like warped, not warped, but just bent up. We'll make these nice and straight. And then we're gonna take this set. Also one thing to be careful of, there may be another wire here that would go on the C terminal, okay. right? And you wanna be very careful. You wanna try to maybe have the power off because if you take the red wire and you accidentally touch the C wire, which is generally blue in color, okay. you'll blow the fuse inside oh, the no. oh, inside no. the air handler. So okay. you never want you know make sure if you don't know how to do this, turn the power off. If you, as long as you take the power off, there's no there's nothing here. You could you know eat this whatever, <laughs> lick it all you want. But we're gonna I'm gonna trim this back, and then these wires are gonna go to R C is red, and Y, which is the white wire, which is normally yellow, and green is gonna go to G, which is fan. And if there was a fourth wire here, it would go on C, which is common. And a lot of uh, Wi-Fi thermostats, almost all of them, need common. It's neutral. You know, like on an outlet, you have 110 volts right here, and then you have a neutral, right? Okay. The neutral is common. Make sense? Okay. okay. All right, so there's a cooling circuits all wired in. RC, Y, and G. And now we're going to do these. You want to? Yes, see ours? Cool, thank you. I think maybe someone will learn something today. <laughs> or, well, someday someone will learn something when I share this video. But we're going to take that wire, and it's going to RH, okay. like that. Make sure it's nice and snug, and when you're done, you pull on a little bit, make sure it's in there. Okay. Right, and this is the W wire, the last one. and the last one, and that's the heat circuit, W, which is not always white, usually white. And it could be different colors if, you know, they weren't following the directions, or they felt like making some lives difficult. So there's all the wiring there. Now there's one step to keep in mind, okay is that on a lot of thermostats, there's a jumper wire between RC and RH, Okay. right? On this, the jumper is behind the thermostat. So we're gonna cut that wire right there. And I'm just gonna use my little nest screwdriver, like that, to break it, like that. Just like that. Yes. Okay, cool. Now, we put the batteries in, and turn around. Okay, so he had one, two thermostats before, now he's got one. Let's set it off for a second. Okay. Let's set time. The time is... <laughs> I think it's 12 something now. It's 12.52. Um, oh, let's go the other way. 12.52. Next. And it's Sunday. Exit. All right. We're going to test the cooling cool. first. Okay. Actually, we're going to test the fan first. If I go like this... There you go. The fan came on. Turn the fan off. Okay. Now, we're going to test the cooling. Cool on, it's set to 85. Let's lower that to 68 temporarily. I heard it click. click on. Fans in auto, fan is on, okay. condenser came on. So now let's turn that off. Okay, we're leaving the fan alone. It's not relevant with heating, with the baseboard heating. Right now it's reading 61 room temperature. We're gonna raise this to, let's say 75. We heard the click, click. heat is on. Let's go to the board. Now that was zone one. We, that's the first one we tested. I hear the boiler on, and zone one is on. There we go. All right, off to the next. Either there are a million people living in here, or they love their shoes. <laughs> Plan B. It's like the morning after pill. I punched a hole too much when I went to put the plastic anchor in there, and I poked through it, so it's not going to hold. So Plan B. This expands inside the wall and when i tighten it up it, will... it hugs okay see good stuff the other side i have a stud right there 